Hello! In this video, I will show you how to create and send a new credential. To create a new credential, go to the left menu on the dashboard and click Create and Send a New Credential. First things first, you should name the issue. Don't worry, nobody will see this name. It's just for your workplace to stay organized. If you wish, you can also switch your certificate to private, which means that nobody will have access to it online unless your recipients share it. Step 1. Let's create details for your certificate. You should choose the type of your event that resulted with this certification from the drop-down menu. It could be a field event, online event, class course, e-webinar and so on. Once you select the type of your event, you can move on with your event's name and description. These will be displayed as the certification name and the description on the credential page. You can choose your event's duration here and specify if your event was paid or not. If the certification that is earned by your recipients has to be renewed after some time, you can set an expiry date to your certificate. And you can choose the level of the event. Now you should provide the details to the evidence part. Any document you might want to relate to the event content can be added with a link as an evidence. Last step to complete the credential details is the skills part. You can make a skill search based on your event from our skill taxonomy with over 30,000 skills or you can choose it directly from our AI generated skills. We will move on with step 2 which is creating a new certificate design. In this section you can choose a design from our certificate template library or upload your own design. If you wish you can select from different sizes and orientations. From the left menu, you can upload images, logos and signatures. The most important thing with your design are the variables. The variable sections will be automatically filled for each and every one of your recipients. You can add a variable to your certificate or create your own one which you want it to appear on your certificate, such as student ID, course name, tutor name, and so on. Step 3. Email templates. In this section, we will create a new email template. In the email editor section, you can see the template of the certificate to be sent on the right side and you can customize the email on the left side. You can edit and customize your email text and add variables to your certificate. Most importantly, you can apply branding, which means that you can add your company details to your email. You can use your own company logo. You can add your social links to the certificate. As well as changing the button color. Now that you created your email template, you should type a from name and a subject. 
You can also use your own email domain while sending certificates. Step 4. Now let's add our recipients. You can either select recipients from your list or create a new one by uploading your recipients details from an Excel or a CSV file. Once the columns turns green, you should match the columns with the corresponding variable. Now that you created all the details, you can take a look at all the things you created on the preview page. We have completed all the steps and we're ready to send the certificate. You can send a test certificate to yourself, schedule it for later, or send it right away.